In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can navigate your dashboard, view all of your Canvas courses in the course lists, as well as manage between your to do, your recent activity, and your Canvas course card dashboard settings. The first thing I'm going to do is I am starting in my dashboard view. This is by default where everyone starts. You will see some courses here, and these courses that show up on your dashboard um, may or may not include all of your courses. The best way to see all of your courses, it is in the left global navigation bar, the black bar on the left under the green box with the U in it. If you click the word courses, it will bring up all of your courses. It will bring up some the, all the courses with their name that are in your dashboard. But if you click right here, it takes you to all of your courses. You will be able to see here very easily which courses are semester one and which courses are semester two. Right now, we just have a small period of time where your semester one courses are still available and your semester two courses have started. Those, there's a little bit of overlap there, but eventually your semester one courses will go away and you will just see your semester two courses. You may also see any other additional courses that um, are not associated with the course. For example, this PRHS counseling course. Those courses will stay no matter what semester it is because they're not associated with a class. They will continue to be on your dashboard until that course is ended. Okay. When courses do end, they will show up over here under past enrollments. So many of these S1 courses that are up here at the end of next week will show up down here in your past enrollment. Past enrollment means that you can still see the course content, but it means you cannot submit assignments, um, send messages, or interact with that content at all. You can still go back there to view some of that content if you need to. All right, so the next thing you can do in this all courses list is that you can go ahead and click on this star to favorite your courses. So if you don't need your semester one courses anymore, you can favorite your semester two courses. And by doing that, or any other courses you would like to show up on your dashboard. By doing that, now if I come over here and I click on dashboard, my dashboard will only include those courses that I put an orange star next to. If there's a course that I don't want to have in this dashboard or that I want to add back, all I do is click on courses and global navigation. I click on all courses and then I can add a course back and forth by clicking the orange star. That is how you can manage which courses are in your dashboard. The next thing is that if you wanted your courses to be in order, say you might have um, this course is a semester one course, but let's say that you have technical theater first period and you have civics and economics second period and you have um, biology third period. If that's the case, you can put these in order by period. All you have to do is click on the course and drag it over. That will allow you to put these in order. Maybe you want the counseling page first and you've got some work to do in your semester one course, so you're going to put it there. This allows you to customize what your dashboard looks like. Again, remember, if you want to have more than just the courses that you favorited, all you have to do is unfavorite your all of these courses, and by default, your dashboard will fill with all of your current courses. Sometimes on the first day of a semester, some students are missing courses, or they think that they're missing courses. In a lot of cases, when you click right here on courses, it's because you favorited semester one courses. You just need to make sure that you go in and update those favorites to be able to update the courses you see in your dashboard. The last thing I'm going to show you is right here, these three dots, it's an ellipsis next to the or across from the word dashboard. If you click on this, it defaults to card view. Sometimes if you are looking at your to do list over here and if you click show all, it takes your dashboard into this weird view. This view shows you only the courses that have tasks that need to be completed. Um, sometimes it shows old content, sometimes it shows new content. Today it just shows this course content for today. Um, the hard thing sometimes is if you get into this dashboard view, you don't know how to get back to your course card dashboard. If you come over here to these three dots, you can click card view and your cards, the normal view that you are used to, will show back up.
The other option you have under dashboard view is recent activity. Your recent activity will give you a summary of the announcements, the assignments, and the grades and things that have happened in the courses that you're currently enrolled in. Again, to get back to what we're used to seeing with those card dash with the dashboards with the course cards, you click on the three dots and you click card view and then you see that familiar course again. Again, you can drag these around so you can put them in order. You can also use the star over here under all courses to identify which courses you would like to show up over here and which courses you do not you do not need anymore. I hope some of these tips will help you as you navigate all of your courses and your course dashboard in Canvas as we transition into our next semester.